What is up my YouTube friends? I'm really excited to talk about Zoom today and particularly broadcasting from OBS to Zoom. Zoom was having some security issues but now they've fixed it and I'm gonna tell you all about it today. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. A while back, I did a series of videos for PC and Mac on how to connect OBS to stream with Zoom. And at the time, Zoom was having some security issues so they had taken this feature away. And I'm excited to say that they fixed the issue and re-added the feature. So if you're still looking to figure out how to connect your OBS to Zoom to do really dynamic broadcasts, I'm gonna show you how to do it today on Mac. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna leave you a link so you can get to the Windows version. So let's get right to it. The links to these plugins will be in the description, but I'll walk you through the setup. The first thing I do is go to this OBS software page here. It's actually part of the forum. Then I click the release page on GitHub. Then scroll down to the OS you're using, whether it's Windows or Mac OS. There are two things you need to download and make sure are installed on your computer. The NDI runtime and the actual NDI plugin. So I download the NDI runtime file. Once you download it, you go to the location, you double click it, then you click continue. After clicking continue a couple of times, you can install it. Now that I have the runtime installed, I need to download the actual plugin file. To do that, I just follow the instructions. I download the plugin file for my Mac. I double click it or on Mac, you can run into this problem where it doesn't like it because it's from the internet. So you can right click on it and click open and then open again. Then I just follow through the installation. Once it's installed, you can open OBS Studio. If you click tools at the top, you're going to see NDI output settings. That means you installed it properly. Now that you have the NDI runtime and plugin all installed for OBS, we're going to do something very similar for Zoom. First, we're gonna to go to newtech.com. The links for all of this stuff will be in the description. The first thing you wanna do is go up to NDI, select NDI tools. Then you're gonna scroll down to the bottom. You're going to select NDI tools for Mac, click download. You have to put in a little bit of information and tell them that you're not a robot. Then you're going to go ahead and click on the download button. You wanna download both of these tools, the NDI tool and the NDI driver. Once the tools are downloaded, go ahead and open up the location where you downloaded them. And the first thing we're going to do is install the new tech driver for Mac OS. You just double click on it and then you double click on the package and you continue through this install and you have to agree to the terms and install it. You're probably gonna have to put in your password here. Once this is installed, we need to run the tools. So you're going to go to the new tech NDI tools for Mac OS, double click on that, and you're going to see a bunch of different packages that we can run. Now the ones we need for what we're going to do is the new tech NDI video monitor package and the new tech NDI virtual input package. The first thing we're gonna run is the video monitor and you'll see why in a second. And you just double click it and continue. You have to put your password in and that goes in and you click close. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into that folder and we're gonna run the new tech NDI virtual input package. And you just click continue and agree to the terms and click install. And here is going to tell you that when the software finishes, it's going to need to restart your computer. So make sure that if you're using anything, you have it saved out because it definitely doesn't give you an option not to restart. Go ahead and continue the installation, put in your password, and once it's finished, you can see right here, you have to click the restart button. Let's get Zoom on this machine. I go to Google, I do a search for Zoom. Then I click on the download button. At the very top, you just wanna select the newest download and click it. And this saves the file to your normal download location. Then I just go into Finder and then into Downloads and I double click on the Zoom package we just downloaded. Click continue, then I click install. You're probably gonna need to put your password in here to give it authorization to install. And when it's finished installing, you can click close. And there we go, it just opens up for us. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead into our OBS Studio. You wanna to go to the top of OBS Studio, click on tools. Then you're going to select NDI output settings. You wanna click main output and click okay. 
Now we're going to go into our applications and we're going to start the NDI Virtual Input app. You'll see a little NDI show up at the top of your screen. Click on that and then select your OBS. It's going to have your computer name and then OBS. So click on that. Next, we're going to go and we're going to open New Tech NDI Video Monitor app. In order to see your OBS, you have to go into File, go to MacBook Pro, the same thing, and then select your NDI Virtual Input. And there we go, woohoo! We have our OBS output. The last step in the process, we're going to go into Zoom. If you go to the top right under Settings, then select Video. All you have to do is use that camera to drop down and select NDI video. Be aware that usually mirror my video is checked. So if all of your lettering and everything is backwards, all you want to do is uncheck mirror my video and that will solve your problem. Next we need to add our audio. If you go in here and you go to microphone, you can drop that down and select NDI audio. Now you may notice that your audio levels feel kind of low. So what I like to do is uncheck automatically adjust microphone volume and I like to adjust it to where I want it. The other thing that I like to do is go and adjust the output volume. Now the reason why we had the new tech NDI video monitor on is because when we put in our headphones and we play with this audio setting stuff, we are going to physically be able to hear what's going to be broadcast. So you can adjust the output level and the input level to put it to where you want it. I get a lot of people asking me why their zoom output is so low when they do things like this. And that's because they're not adjusting their output volume level. So go ahead and make sure that you do that. And as you can see, we are set to go. You just have to start a meeting. And there we go, it's connecting zoom. Now, if you are wondering why it looks unbelievably choppy on my computer, well, that makes sense. First of all, I'm running a Mac, which should make total sense why it's kind of choppy. But the real reason why this video is exceptionally choppy on my computer is because I am doing a screen record. And anytime I do a screen record, it bogs everything down and makes it choppy. I want to absolutely assure you that I completely tested this entire method on a 2015 MacBook Pro, which is not an amazingly fantastic or powerful computer. And when I wasn't doing a screen record, this worked really, really, really well. So you're not going to have any problems if you have some somewhat newer Mac equipment. I love the fact that educators are using Zoom to communicate with their audience, and I love the fact that they're using OBS to create more dynamic teaching tools. I applaud you all. Thank you so much for doing what you do. This, of course, is the Mac version, but if you're interested in the PC version, you can check this video out right here. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.